Hi everyone, on this topic we'll talk about VTSCADA XSR, Delta CP2000, Bankland, MSTP, or via Roitech LIP or ME20X uh, router. So system architecture you can see we'll use the VTSCADA connect to the Ethernet port of uh, Roitech uh, Bankland IP router. Then uh, we use the MSTP uh, port connect to the CP2000. And today's example will use the VT SCADA uh, version uh, 12.1.10. Uh, following will be the CP2000 parameter settings. So uh, most important parameters are this over here. So you can see uh, if you want to modify the frequency command from uh, VT SCADA, then uh, please uh, remember to change the 00, 20, and 21. Okay, make this uh, change this one to uh, IS485 or BACnet MSTP and then uh, remember to modify the parameters uh, 0, 09-31 uh, uh, this one is the internal communication uh, one means a uh, BACnet okay and then uh, make sure the, to set the correct uh, BACnet MSTP or uh, node number for CP2000 and then would be the ball rate next we will move to the Loitech uh, IP router settings so uh, in this example, we will connect to the uh, CP2000 through Bankland uh, MSTP or port number 4. Okay, so uh, here we have to set up the network numbers and then for the MSTP on um, node numbers. So uh, you can see we will assign the network as a, a number 8 and for the MSTP for CP2000 is 7 and for the router is uh, 9 okay and we keep the same uh, ball rate and this is the IP address of uh, BankNet uh, router 10.139.5.33 okay and next uh, we need to do some uh, basic setting over the BankNet IP so this one we keep the default and select the uh, uh, BankNet IP port and the uh, mode uh, after that, uh, we will go to the VT SCADA setting. So for the VT SCADA, here we uh, click the new child, then uh, select the port. Or if you already use that uh, before, then you can use the UDP IP port. And then here assign the IP address that we just mentioned. Okay, so here will be 10 or uh, that 139 that uh, uh, Okay. So you can see this IP address and then uh, assign the backnet uh, default port number 47808. Okay, and next uh, we create a new child, then select the driver and select a backnet driver. And here we will define the ID as a backnet MSTP driver, then uh, assign the not ID as I mentioned earlier, 7. And here we will for the device we will click the use a magnet router, and for the network type we will select MSTP, then uh, define the network as uh, H, and then uh, we click the communications. So here remember to select the magnet MSTP that we de uh, define here in this layer. Okay, then the last uh, step. We create a new child, then uh, click the I.O. and calculations. Then here we also define the name. For ID is a DC bus, then uh, click the I.O. So here we'll select the previous one, and then uh, click uh, the backnet, this icon. So you will pump up this uh, window, and then we just select the analog uh, value. And here for the property, keep the present value. And we assign a uh, instance number as uh, 45. That means uh, CP2000 DC bus value. Okay, so after we click this one and click OK, apply and OK. So you can see this will show the DC bus voltage of uh, CP2000. Okay, so now I'll switch to the software. So we connect to the uh, BigNet IP routers. So this is what I mentioned. Uh, we define the Network number uh, 8 and for the IP uh, routers, uh, not number is uh, 9. And then this is uh, what I mentioned. Okay, so we keep the list settings. 
and then we will switch to the VT SCADA one. So for the VT SCADA, I think here, oh, we click the tech browser, and first of all, we will create. So this is a uh, mention uh, for the backnet MSTP test, and then we assign the IP address, uh, port number, click OK. And next is to add uh, new, uh, create a new child and then add on this uh, MSTP drive. So you can see here, uh, we define the device. Now uh, this one is device node is, means uh, CP2000. And then uh, click the backnet uh, router, then uh, select the network type uh, MSTP. Then this is the network of uh, MSTP. Then our communication here just uh, use uh, the previous one, our previous layer. Okay, and the last one is a DC bus. So here we will create uh, the DC bus in ID. Then assign this uh, network over here, and then I'll click the backnet uh, analog value. So here assign forty five. This one is a uh, uh, DC bus voltage. So after uh, setting this one, then we can check the. Uh, it can read the DC bus value from uh, backnet MSTP and show on VT SCADA successfully. So that's all for uh, today's topic. Thank you.